What is up, everyone? Today, we're going to read the adventure story of Android 21, also known as Sinoa. I believe that's what she looks like when she's younger. Now, let's see what happened with her experiment. Another failed experiment. I believe Kleiman warned us of her in one of those random town talks that he does about a experimenter who constantly blow things up. Let's see what is the cause of all this. It'll be interesting to see what Android 21 was like when she was younger and dumber. Much dumber. Much, much, much dumber. Hmm. Oh, who's that? Uh, shouting an explosion. Oh, what a shame that four stars don't get fully voiced, but... Uh, nope. Matika <laughs> desai! At least we have these little quips. English VA don't even have little quips like these. And damn rich can be paid for repairs. At least he's rich enough to pay for those. <laughs> Filled with rubble and a couple of fires. What's <laughs> very important equipment? <sighs> Whatever happened to firefighters anyway? <sighs> oh, she was trying to distort time and space. <laughs> This is what you <laughs> this is what you use alchemy for to distort time and space. I didn't even know you could do that. <laughs> How do you use bottles of liquid to turn to distort time and space? I don't understand either. You have to explain it. Uh, look at you. You've got a beaker right here. I don't understand how you can turn that thing to bend time and space. Yeah, I hope you'll explain it like Althemia does. Alright, so you keep failing your experiments, no big deal. Something you've been trying over and over. Yeah. Only the sixth time we say over and over. Uh. The sixth, I don't know, that sounds pretty over and over and to me. I mean, it's like what Einstein says to constantly do the same thing when you know it fails or something like that. Is insanity. I don't remember how the quote goes, but yeah. I believe it's something about doing the same thing over and over again without change. Expecting something to change. Right, anyway, anyway, let's see. <laughs> My heart or wallet. And I do anything. How much is it going to cost to repair this room? Why don't you do it outside or something? No, of course, it doesn't make any sense <laughs> doing that outside of the lab, but you know what I mean. You have to be careful with that. Yeah. They kick once they kicked me out, I was forced to buy my own, my own equipment. Oh, I wonder why they kicked you out. <laughs> Blowing all my crap up, I want to kick you out too. Oh, you're probably right, although it's the words you hear it said out loud. Oh, I'm kicked out of this room as well. Who am I supposed to go now? You don't blow anything up. Really? Really, really, really? You're gonna trust someone who does something like that to not blow things up. I'm a magical scholar first. Fool was quite useless at nearly everything else. I'm much better at it than physical labor or whatnot. Being able to create an explosion that size is a talent. I'm gonna look at a board. See Noah, also known as Android 21. Huge explosion. Yeah, seriously, why do we keep inviting horrible people into our castle? That's just a terrible, terrible idea. And why is my screen all black? Alright, back. Now, let's see what happened. Ever heard of a wormhole? I think that's why the screen turned all black too, because of a damn wormhole she created. Look, see, she already broke her promise. <laughs> Mountain of books. Oh, I guess it wasn't an explosion. She just got... 
She just got buried by books. Mm. I like how they have that animated too. This is a very animated visual novel and I find this very entertaining. <laughs> All the books on the shelf were falling on top of me. I see the book every time I see you. The topic I have the most interest is, is space, time, physics, magic. Hey, Pokemon, my greatest treasure. Mm hmm, wormhole. Ooh, there we go. There's that topic of a wormhole. Gotta create a oh, in space time that connects the past, present, and future. Now, what if she could actually pull that off as an actual skill? That would be pretty nice. Say, for instance, oh, one of my allies just died. Oopsie daisy, here you go. And then they just kind of reverse time to have them be resurrected. And then they can, well, I wouldn't call it resurrected, just reverse time. And then they can just roll out of the way or something like that. That would be very helpful. I don't know where there was a skill like that in, like, Dota or something. Oh, yeah, that's right. I think that stupid guy with the, uh, with the face, faceless void. When he can reverse time to what happened five seconds ago. So he can use that to avoid damage or something like that. Anyway, when you go back, man, you may maybe you can try to change them. Try to change them. See, this is what they always do. They try to change them. Didn't help out when Einstein goes back in time to kill Hitler. And look what happened. Stalin took power and there's red alert. And then you make something like I'm create a wormhole for myself. You can even do that. You can't even say for sure that it exists. Eto. And then the music just cuts off. Eto. Make it happen. If I'm successful, there's something I want to do. <laughs> Tell my younger self how to make a wormhole. <laughs> That's deplorable. You'll teach yourself how to invent it yourself. That is so deplorable. So in a way, that's actually kind of interesting. Then, then you would have saved the time of your other self of researching this wormhole. That's an interesting use of it, that's for sure. But yeah, you never meet your future self, so maybe you have never traveled through a wormhole. I'm a fool, aren't I? How could I possibly be enraptured by an idea I know will never come to fruition? <laughs> Which was magical scholars. <laughs> I mean, I can understand that. I mean, there's really no such thing as perfection when it comes to research. There's always new things to learn. Now, let's see. <laughs> oh, we're under attack! Wait, it's you again? Start things off with a bang all the time. What happened to your promise? Space-time distortion device. Just stop blowing this stuff up in our storehouse, yeah? I guess it's pretty sturdy. Plus, I'm tired of me. mistaking your screw-ups for some enemy attack. I don't even think you can kick out adventurers in this game. Boom, make sure it's going between you and me. He's real soft touch like that. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, you why would you invite someone who blows things up into your house? That's just the most ridiculous thing you could do. And we wanna go back. <laughs> No, you wouldn't have a place for me there. Space time physics magic is theoretically sound, but it's thought to not lead to any concrete results. Two people who dedicate themselves to it, as I do, are regarded by their colleagues as, well, fools! And it is kind of true, I mean. It's like studying, like, um. <laughs> It's like trying to study for f philosophy or something like in terms of humanities. It's good. It's fun. It's a decent concept, but it will not 
bring food to the table. It's not a vocational major. So that's why majoring in philosophy and uh, the humanities, the arts, you have to be... <laughs> I hope you have some kind of backup plan in case something uh, doesn't work out for you. Anyway, you don't know, you're a student, you always help on my experiment. You get kicked out too? Eh? Yes, the experiment was all my idea. I took the blame. I didn't allow him to remain and I was okay with it. Ah! <sighs> <sighs> I mean, all I did was burn three research buildings to the ground. Surely the explosion is something of an overreaction. <laughs> burn three buildings? Three buildings? Okay, I gotta reconsider my thoughts. Sometimes sacrifices must be made in pursuit of a dream. Three buildings? <laughs> Deplorable. You let a little details like that hold you back and you're getting in your research. I mean, no chance to be an institute like that. Not people perform whatever experiment you like. Three buildings. <laughs> I think guys kicked you out. Uh, yeah, I mean, if you do get the wormhole out, that's one thing, but... Well, the problem is, it's nothing concrete, so three buildings is a high cost. Yeah. Now it's my turn. Letter that came for you. Sounds like a fellow student I knew at the Institute was made a senior advisor. Eh? Sounds just important enough to me. Magic Dreams achieving that position. <gasps> Very competitive selection process. Eto. <laughs> There's that laughter again. Yeah. You've still been there. You might have been offered it. Hope to achieve that position someday. <laughs> Technically, yes. I don't know, when you get expelled, it you don't tend to be able to go back, but I guess. And I set all those buildings on fire. I was trying to conduct an experiment to send my voice back in time. <laughs> Not only are you trying to send something back in time, but you're trying to send something intangible like your voice back in time. As to the equipment, I feel like I really did hear a voice. It said, put the red pipe on the blue outlet and everything will be fine. <laughs> this is this is what happens when you suffer from brain damage. This is what happens when your brain is on drugs. You hear voices that tells you to go and put the red pipe into the blue outlet. Yeah. <laughs> no sane person would ever do that, but also convinced the voice was from the future that I went for it. See? Even she unconsciously knows that no sane person would do it. Well, I mean, she consciously knows. I, I don't know why I say unconsciously. I guess she, she just did it anyway because she's insane. Do you want to know what message I was trying to send back? And warn yourself about why your previous experiments ended in a failure. Yeah. No, much more basic. I told myself stay away from magical science. It's not worth your time. That would have been really helpful to send back. I think that would have been really helpful to send back. I'm actually chasing my dreams. And all that happened was the result was me getting ostracized and made fun of. You send that message back. Yeah. Everything exploded before I could. <laughs> she think I should have said it, but now I feel differently. I didn't mean everything after all. Okay, okay, whatever you say, Android 21. God, she's insane. Maximum brain damage. <laughs> Look at this, it's a research paper written by a scholar who used to work with me. Yep. An examination of transmission of sound via advanced space-time metrics as Oh. It looks like your friend has actually achieved what you couldn't. That's terrible. <laughs> Explain the actual content, maybe. The important part is right here. Miss <laughs> Beast, that's my name. 
Ordinary it's taboo to put the name of someone who's been expelled in a research paper. She pulled in a whole lot of flavors to make that happen. Oh my gosh, she couldn't do anything without me. The content is actually quite excellent. The answer to it, I always had to rewrite her papers. I didn't understand it at all. A part of me still feels unhappy and a little jealous as she moves so far so fast. But when I read this paper and imagine her gold going up, I wanted to cry. Yeah. I feel the truth that you are growing up too. I don't know about that, but it feels more like your buddy finished the research before you did. And it's terrible. <laughs> but hey, you know, whatever makes you feel better, because that's my job as the main character. Oh, the voice that made me cause that explosion. Oh god, please, you didn't leave something in the stove, did you? It really was my voice that I heard. It's a complete success. Everything that's happened up until now is really, really, really better because it was meant to happen. You bring pipe into the blue outlet and everything will be just fine. I've got maximum brain damage. DM. And so this is how the person who eventually become Android 21 be turned out to be. Someone with maximum brain damage. I could see why she turned out that way in the end. Anyway, at least this story isn't like one of those harem stories that we've been reading so much. In fact, it's been very neutral. It's actually a lot more bland than I thought it would be. But I heard some good things about Vanessa, so maybe I'll eventually build her up to look at her story. But I currently have some mana problems. Ezolith, I could probably work on because she's uh, one of my side characters. Later on, we'll see what other characters we can play with regardless, regarding to the uh, story mode. Oh yeah, Varika I can be as well. But anyway, we'll save that for later. I thank you all for watching. Until next time.